getting some nibbles here. All right, got a fish on. See if I can get him up. This rock. It's like a blue rockfish, or is that a kelp rockfish? All right, first fish today. Let's uh, get a closer look. It's a pretty cool looking fish. I think I'm gonna let this guy go, but uh, if anybody knows exactly what kind of fish this is, just uh, leave it in the comments below. I'm gonna try and get a bigger fish. This one looks about 10 inches, maybe 12 inches at the most. So we're gonna throw it on back. Try and release it from a safe height. All right, we're gonna drop this guy down here. So I think it's a blue rockfish, but let me know what you guys think. Okay, so I made a spot change. like something good oh it's on a swim bait too oh man I can see it it's a lean cod oh yeah dude look at that lean let's get it up Look at that! That is a lean cone, baby! Look at that monster! Yeah! Look at those teeth! Oh, buddy! Let's see if it's a keeper! Hey man, do you have a tape measurer? Oh, Lincoln, you got a tape measurer? The tape? Oh, you guys, oh, you got tape measure? I forgot mine, I can't find it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. That looks like a keeper, huh? Watch out for the hook. Oh yeah. Okay. yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. All right, thank you, man. So I'm gonna keep this one and bring it on home. I'm gonna bonk him on the head with the end of the knife. And that was on my big hammer swim bait. So all wild fish uh, have pests you know, just like fleas to a dog and cat. So these little bugs right here actually burrow into the skin. 
So when you get home, it's always a good idea to put your wild fish up to a light to see if you can see through your fillets and then you'll be able to see all your worms. So the rules are you can keep two lean cod that are 22 inches or more, three cabazon that are 15 inches or more, and then five assorted rockfish total. So I got one lean cod. I'm going to see if I can catch another one and hit my limit. The cool thing about that lean cod was it actually hit on the drop. So it was a really easy catch. I didn't even really have to put much effort into swimming the bait. I got another one on. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Take another ling. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> look at this ling cod, that is a boost. Look at that catch right in the lip. Ah, uh, let's, let's go. Right down there. So it's too small. Okay. Too small. Okay. That's pretty though. Okay. Thank you. Oh yeah, right in the right in the lip. Wow. Yeah. That's a pretty one. We're gonna release this one just an inch too small. What? No, it's too small. It's too small. Alright, there we go. So I ended up giving those two guys my uh, rig that I was using there. Um, they were nice enough to let me use your measuring tape which was able to get me a keeper ling because without that tape I wouldn't have known and I probably wouldn't have kept it so I gave them that one now I'm trying this other color and I'm gonna see if it works so that last color surprisingly broke off so I tied this one on give this a shot What I'm doing when I throw the swim bait, basically I just wait for it to hit the bottom. Oh. Okay, got something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Come on, baby. Come on. No, man. God dang it, got off. Shoot. Must have been a black rockfish or something. Oh, wait, yeah, here we are. So there's where the teeth were. Must have just missed the hook. Man, get right back out there. So what I'm doing is I'm letting it hit the bottom and then slowly reeling it back in.
Alright, I got fish on. Looks like a little cabby. All right, yeah, yeah, look at that. I don't know if that's a keeper. Looks a little small. Let me go see if my friends are still, still over there. Cabazon, lean cod, woo, buddy. I don't know, I think this cabbie's a little small. So I'm actually gonna let this cabbie go. You know, I got that lean cod and I'm happy enough with that. So we're gonna toss this one back. Here we go. All right. So that's two lean cod, a cabazon, and whatever kind of rockfish that was in the beginning. I know I said last cast, but <laughs> I'm casting out one more time. This swim bait. This swim bait and then the other one with the red and black are just killing it out here. Getting out of here for the day. The tide is still dropping for another hour till 448 or so. But I got that lean cod and that's good enough, man. I'm going to get on out of here. Had a fun day caught that rockfish earlier and then I moved spots which was for the better. Uh, Patrick, this is the spot man. This is, this is a good spot. Two lings and like five casts. So I'm really stoked on that and I can't wait to come back. Um, thanks Patrick for hooking me up with uh, the new gear and letting me know what to be rocking. Definitely makes a big difference. I only lost I think two weights today and that was it. Oh and one swim bait. All right, I'm gonna get home and cook this lean cod. Also wanna give a shout out to Jorge Mendoza. There you go, buddy. <laughs> I'm now home and ready to fillet my fish. Here's one of the worms that get inside of these guys. That's why you always want to put it up to a light to inspect your fillets because you will see these will come through as dark spots and then you'll want to cut those out. These uh, they don't die when you cook them unless you absolutely obliterate your fish and these can survive inside of you. Here are my two fillets. And I'm going to inspect these for worms by holding them up to a light so I can see if there's any dark spots. And I'm going to salt them as well. It's always good to salt your fillets 30 minutes before you eat them. to marinate it in teriyaki sauce with sesame and sesame seeds and black pepper. All right, going to let those marinate for probably another 20-30 minutes. Two 
Two eggs for the rice. Green egg and a brown one for my chickens. stickers, my teriyaki fried ling cod with some homemade fried rice, catch and cook ling cod. What's up everybody? So I want to get on here and just kind of recap how that dinner went. Unfortunately, my GoPro uh, had an error, so I didn't get the exact dinner scene I wanted. But I just wanted to tell you guys that that lean cod was absolutely delicious. I enjoyed it. Christy enjoyed it. She thought it kind of had a salmon flavor, which is what it reminded her of. And myself, I thought it kind of had more of the lobster flavor. But all in all, it was absolutely delicious, and I'd recommend the teriyaki marinade, and I would do it again in the future. Can't wait to catch more lean cod and try different recipes. Hope you enjoyed the video and please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more.